Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Toronto Raptors. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, with David Aldridge roaming the sideline. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Taking a look at Boston, they've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And of course, the Toronto Raptors, just way behind. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. Barnes and Siakam will slot in at the small and power forward. Dennis Schroeder is out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Pirtle in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Boston, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. And on paper, at least, Richard, this game is a mismatch. But on any given night, I mean, you just never know. That's exactly it, Kevin. And while the underdog is extra motivated, the better teams sometimes let their guard down. That's a recipe for disaster. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Now here's Tatum. Now the pass to White from outside the arc. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Schroeder outside. Back to Barnes. Over Brown. Barnes can't get it to go. Outside Tatum. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Rushing off the contact look. The dude is strong. When he gets in there, it's easy. That's an easy bucket. Schroeder against Holiday. Pass to Siakam. Here's on an open. Pocket six. There's Schroeder. And he uses the glass on the lane. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. Well, it was the Raptors winning their last game against Washington. Brown sets a screen for Holiday. Tatum's shot is off. Barnes against Brown. Super kicks to Siakam. Barnes passes to Siakam. Shot clock at five. Fires from the line. It's good from Barnes on the assist by Siakam. And the all-around game of Siakam is so adept at working the ball to open guys. Schroeder against Holiday. Pass to Persingas. And here is Tatum. Good on the triple. Tatum's got five points so far. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter steal, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Siakam. Nice Yacob. shot by Pirtle. Just too much for the defenders to handle. Yakov is tall and strong. Can't teach that. Oh, gee, the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. White against Ananobi. A wide open look here for Perzingis. No good from outside. And Barnes has got the ball here for Toronto. Ananobi against Brown. Here's Siakam. Again, Toronto. Ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. At the elbow, it's Brown. The three from Tatum. Carries it from three-point range. He's got eight. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. On the wing, Barnes. Back to Schroeder. Passes it to Siakam. Over Tatum. Siakam's shot is off. Well, it was the Raptors winning their last game against the Wizards in Washington. Porzingis with a screen on Siakam. 
Tatum kicks to White. There's the pass to Persingas. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. RJ, when we talk about the Boston Celtics, they've transformed into a real heavyweight out east. Oh, they are a dominant team out east, one of the dominant teams in this league. Look, they have so much young talent and talent that they drafted and developed. This group, their only job is to contend for championships. That free throw good from Porzingis. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. And both free throws good for Porzingis. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA, Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Now here's Tatum, following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Outside, Brzingis. It's stolen by Schroeder. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Tatum. On the wing, Holiday. No block shot, and good that time. Really? Oh, hard to defend that any better. Holiday is just terrific at hitting shots while under duress. Holiday against Schroeder. Siakam outside. On the wing, Barnes. He's covered by Brown. Just five on the clock. Raptors need to get a shot off. Siakam inside the three-point line. And they'll turn it over. He could not get off a shot. Before second violation. And here is Tatum. Boy, he was something else against the Lakers. They get a hand on it. Pirtle with the steal. Siakam outside. And the dunk by Pirtle. Powerful finish. Yaka not taking any chances in tight. Tatum against Siakam. Porzingis with a screen on Siakam. Pirtle with the steal. And now in transition, it's Barnes. Here we go. This is to Schroeder. Now Siakam. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. Six on the shot clock. Ananobi kicks to Siakam. Over Tatum. Not good by Siakam. And it's a tie ball game. And on the offensive end, Siakam so efficient. He, he makes a constant effort to find the open man. Took him no time at all on that one. Tatum's got 11 points. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now, here's Ananobi. Still yet to score. While we got a moment, let's now show you the teams that have led the NBA in blocks during the past month. Number one, the Celtics. They have been racking up the blocks lately. I mean, if they keep this up, they're going to be a very difficult matchup for anybody. And an OB against White. Outside Tatum. Over Siakam. Here's White. And it's off from three-point range. Raptors trail by three. Siakam looking around. Over Tatum. Siakam's shot is off. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Tatum down low. Covered by Siakam. Tatum's shot is off. Defense pulled out all the stops and shut him down there. Here's Siakam. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. 
Pirtle with a screen on Tatum. Siakam finds Pirtle. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Greg talking about Jakob Pirtle. It doesn't seem like he gets enough credit for his defense. I don't think he does. I mean, he's an excellent rim protector and rebounder. And a big man who just takes pride in defending. The free throw drops for Pirtle. Nearing the midway point of the season now, G.A., what do you think is most important for teams to focus on at this point? I think just trying to establish overall continuity. You want to head into the second half of the season with some momentum behind you, as well as just general confidence. Al Horford is checked in for Jason Tatum. No good on the second free throw. And Pearl is a massive guy, someone that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks at the bucket. Taking a look here at the numbers for Schroeder, how his last 10 games have gone. He's around 10 points per game, six assists, and two rebounds. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, not playing outside himself, but finding lots of chances to do his thing and affect the game. Now, here's Siakam. Pass to Ananobi. Trent with it. Fires from deep. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Raptors lead by one. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. And Holiday has it in the corner. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Trent against White. Now, here's Trent. Defense right on him. Broke loose. Pass to Siakam. Back to Trent. Shoots over White. And it's sent back by White! Trent against Holiday. Brown outside. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Now, here's Schroeder. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Anytime you get a nice look inside, it's a good possession. Here's Brown. Horford high post. Outside Holiday. A three-pointer off the mark. Raptors have gone 8 of 14 for the field in the first quarter. Siakam passes to Schroeder. Now, here's Trent. Hurdle finds Siakam. Shoots the three. And again, Toronto with the triple. Seattle got his eyes Three. open tonight. Great feed to create the easy opportunity. Round with it. You saw him with 19 points his last outing. Outside Holiday. Back to Brown. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Brown's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. Pass to Burton. Back to Schroeder. A minute 50 left here in the first quarter. The pass to Siakam. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Holiday. Outside, Porzingis. Brown outside. From down and the low post, it goes. Brown's got eight points. Sometimes Brown just looks unstoppable. A little contact doesn't bother him at all. Takes a step back. Siakam kicks to Ananobi. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Hurdle, the pass to Siakam. Another miss by Siakam. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. 
Back to Brown from downtown. And Pirtle pulls it down. Toronto's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. 36 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Center kicks to Siaka. Trent outside, launches it. Rebound, Boston. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. And the mental game you talk about, a lot comes down to coaching. Having your players focused. Persingas with a screen on Ananobi. Look, it can be simple. Read the defense, call the play. Brown can really do it all. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Celtics. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll return shortly. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And when you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what do you think? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. Raptors trail by five. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. Well, they've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process as excruciating as it may be. Tatum in the front court, alongside Horford. And it's Benton in a shooting guard. That's the Boston Five. Barnes taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. And the Celtics making a change here. Makai Lucas checked in. Celtics leading by three. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Five to shoot. Count that one. Trent's got five now. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. They lead by four. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Dick. Hasn't made one yet. Back to Boucher. Pass to Trent. But Trey. Al Horford with the rebound. Celtics leading by seven. Here's Tatum. Passes to Pritchard. Here's Mikhailu. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Trent outside. And the pass to Dick. Clock at four. Back to Trent. 
And that one drops for him. He has seven. And so many different ways Dick gets the ball to his teammates. Always on time and on target. Pritchard passes to Horford. Outside Tatum. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Tatum's got the lead up to eight now for Boston. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Trent outside. Pass to Dick. Shoots a three. And Horford pulls it down. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. And with a pause in the action, we should get the numbers for Jason Tatum. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And you noted it. His points per game average is unreal right now. He's literally propping up the team's offense, scoring whenever they need him to. Boston making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Now here's Barnes. 20 points for him last game against the Wizards in Washington. Not to mention the rim protection he provided credited with two blocks, and you know that he altered a few more. Now here's Schroeder. Eight-point game. Down to five on the shot clock. And that one's good, Barnes. Barnes. Barnes has got four this quarter. They are just killing them on the interior. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Schroeder. Pass to Cornett. Celtics passing it around. Here's Tatum. Graceful quarter by Tatum. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. No doubt, Greg, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player. And this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Tatum's shot is off. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Schroeder looking around. Passes it to Juan and open. Schroeder outside. Boucher sets a screen for Schroeder. And stolen by Horford. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Schroeder. Outside Tatum. Fires for three. Tatum with another miss. And you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Schroeder dishes to Barnes. The pass to Boucher. Back to Barnes. Pass to Ananobi. Four on the clock. Here's Schroeder. Boston grabs the miss. Horford's got rebound number five here tonight. Outside Tatum. Pass to Cornett. Over Barnes. That one off the back iron and out. How about that hard nose D in the paint right there? Nice job. Yeah, he's got great position, and it makes it a really tough shot, even from such close range. Now, here's Schroeder. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Boucher, the screen. They could use a bucket. Rebounded by the Celtics. Last time they met was in Toronto, where they beat the Raptors. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. And this really is the story of the game. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc, especially in the second quarter. Barnes outside. And he can't jam it through. Look, I'll give him an A for effort for trying to dunk through the defense, but maybe he should ease up on that one just a little bit. Now here's Tatum. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Yeah, this looks like a free shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. 
So, timeout call here. The first for Toronto. Get low, fans, on the court. Here's your final squad. Some changes here for the Raptors. Pocket Pirtles check in for a chew Pascal Siakam comes in for Chris Boucher. And Trent subbed in for Scotty Barnes. Now, here's Schroeder. Nine points last game out. They need this. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Porzingis with a screen on Siakam. Tatum kicks to Holland. Porzingis high post. Shoots over Ananobi. Porzingis can't hit. And he felt like he needed a little bit more space with the fade to get off a shot, but that might have been what threw him off and made him miss. Hurdle sets the pick for Trent. Floats one, and he sinks Get the layup. Trent Trent's got six points in the quarter. And after struggling out the gate, he's looked more confident. And it's why his teammates have continued to feed him. Brown finds Holiday. Down low, here's Persingas. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Pirtle's got four rebounds in this game. Trent against Brown. Porzingis with the block. And with that 7-6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big-time shot block. Tatum against Trent. Here's Porzingis. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists tonight. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now, here's Schroeder. Trent, a screen on Hubbard. Here's Schroeder on the money from 12 feet away. Schroeder. Schroeder's got his third basket of the night. Very big part of his game, burning the D from mid-range. Schroeder against Holiday. Tatum down low. White, wide open. He fights. And again, busted with the triple. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Toronto calls timeout. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Gary Trent. Yeah, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Raptors trail by 15. And here is Siakam. He's got seven. He dishes it to Barnes. Shot clock at six. Bertle sets the pick for Barnes. Second chance shot, and Pirtle lays it up and in. Pirtle's got seven points in the game. Is one of Pirtle's greatest strengths, his offensive rebound. He just has a nose for finding second chance points. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. That was something they did. Now Hoffman is checked in for Boston. And let's take a look now. Pascal Siakam's numbers. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Averaging about 24 points, 5 assists, and 6 rebounds. And he does so much for this team, but it starts... Oh, my wow. goodness! What a play! Showing off his pure athleticism. Brown with a memorable finish. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. 
And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. 15-point game. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get the easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. Shot clock at two. Siaka misses. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. Holiday against Schroeder. Holiday, the pass to Brown. From 12 feet out, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Uh, getting the hoop and the harm. That's tremendous body control from Brown. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Boston? They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. Every team in this league wants a Jalen Brown, a tremendous two-way wing and boy. Brown can put up giant offensive numbers. Back to Siakam. Schroeder up top. Looking to get it going. Siakam's shot is off. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Brown against Barnes. Horford with a screen on Barnes. With the step back. Here's Brown. Again, the Celtics good for two. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown, and it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Brown against Barnes. Kicks to Ananobi. Passes it to Siakam to end the run, and the shot goes in. Siakam. Nine points for Assist Siakam. And despite the hot start from beyond, Ananobi. they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Horford sets a screen for Brown. Outside, Horford. And there's the pass to White. Back to Horford. Pass to Brown. And they double up Brown. Horford from outside. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And not every pig can hit from there. But Horford has that versatility because that man has put in the work. Here's Siakam. And so it's the Boston Celtics sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Hey there, everybody. Jason Tatum has put his stamp on this game, looking so dominant so far. Hard not to love what Tatum is doing out there, hustling on both ends of the floor, punishing. I mean, he's punishing the D with his scoring ability and keeping his team energized, Shaq. He's giving them everything they want and more. Get it, young fella. And more. And more than that. And moving on, let's take a peek at how the East is shaping up here in the midseason. Take a look here now at Boston. I had them as a top team before the season, and now I'm picking them to make the finals. Tell me I'm wrong, Kenny. You can't, because I'm right. Two plus two is five. Mm, and as much as it pains me, I have to agree with Big Fella. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half.
with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. So for Toronto right now, big men in the four form, it's Siakam and Pirtle. Ananobi out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Barnes at the small forward position. And give Siakam Second, the hoop and the harm on that one. And since being drafted back in 2016, he's really improved that upper body strength. You know what you Shooting love seeing from Pascal Siakam Pascal. is his confidence Siakam. continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. And Siakam, no good on that one. Uh, a big man who can score, rebound, and pass. And this is why Siakam has become a huge piece of this team. Raptors trail by 19. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Third personal foul. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against length. Shooting one. Celtics leading by 16. Now Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Barnes. Pass to Tatum. A three. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. These days, the ball is in Pascal Siakam's hands. He says it means everything. Being on the ball just gives you a better rhythm. I don't think it's hard. It's just something you grow into. I have those images in my head of where I want to get to. Now, defenses often look to double, and he said, if I played me, I would do that too. Kevin? <laughs> All right, David, thank you. Brown, no good. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Passes to Barnes. Shoots over Brown. Rebound by the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Their first miss since the break still. I like how they've come out so far. And slam dunk by Tatum. Terrific oh, line. And Tatum takes care of the rest. This is how it's done. Those passes dunk themselves. Siakam outside. with a screen on Tatum. Siakam finds Pirtle. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Every game going to play here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. El Horford checked in for Brzingis. Free throw, no good for Pirtle. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game. Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. Siakam against Tatum. Siakam up top. He's got 14. Fires the three. That's it, and the Celtic lead has got down now Schroeder. to just 12 points with the basket from Schroeder. Oh, great ball movement there. 
Schroeder against Holiday. And here's Brown outside. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Here's the Raptors with the ball. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. Siakam kicks to Ananobi. Schroeder with a screen on Holiday. Ananobi, no good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And here's Tatum for three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Pirtle's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Schroeder against Holiday. Schroeder passes to Siakam. Great D that time from Tatum. And so it's Holiday with it. They'll bring it up for the Celtics. Leading by 12. The pass to Schroeder. Barnes looking around. To the right side. And a wide open look for Siaka. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number eight now on the night. To the middle. Here's Tatum. Tatum gets it inside. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Steps back. Poked away. Barnes kicks it over to Schroeder. Siakam outside. Six to shoot. And an OB in the corner. Over White. That's it, and the Celtic lead has cut down now to just 12 points as the basket from Ananobi. The Celtics have gone 3 of 8 so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Schroeder against Holiday. Trains it from beyond the arc. Holiday's got 5 points now in the quarter. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6'4", he can get his shot off against just about anybody. Hurdle with a screen on Holiday. Kicks it out to Siakam. Just five on the clock. Unable to get that one. Great D that time from Tatum. Schroeder against Holiday. Three-pointer. Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Siakam. 14 points for him. Back to Pirtle. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Celtics leading by 13. Brown feeling out a bit. And Pirtle pulls it down. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Back to Schroeder. Pass to Barnes. Barnes sets a screen for Siakam. Back to Barnes. And it's blocked by Brown. Terrific anticipation by Brown. Managing to see the shot coming and get ahead of him. Holiday against Schroeder. Back to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Horford. Good D by Ananobi. Raptors trail by 13. Schroeder outside. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Schroeder. Pirtle's got 13. His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Horford with a screen on Barnes. Unloads from 13. Brown shot is good. You see the confidence building in Brown offensively. First, it was taking over stretches. Now, it's taking over games. Schroeder against Holiday. Schroeder passes to Siakam. Barnes screen on Tatum. 
That one's in there. The Boston lead has cut to just 11 points in the basket from Siakam. Boston, an extra element to Siakam's game. He can really handle the ball and even initiate it off the floor. Right now, it's time out called by Boston. Boston may get a switch here. Richards checked in. And the Raptors also making a change. Fred's checked in for Barnes. Celtics leading by 11. Here's Pritchard. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. And here's Tatum for three. Well, after the show he put on in the first half, you thought it would continue, but he's cooled off a little bit here now. Brittle with the ball. He's got 13. Schroeder outside. There's the three. A rebound by the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Pritchard passes to Tatum. There's a screen. At the top of the key, Horford over Siakam. Horford, no luck. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Siakam outside. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single Siakam. digits. Siakam's got 10 points in just the second half. Tatum against Siakam. Now here's Tatum. 23 points in the game. Pass to Horford. Passes it to Pritchard. Three-pointer. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Pritchard's got six. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. The pass to on an open. Now, here's Siakam. Brittle, high post. Ananobi kicks it over to Schroeder. Fires from way outside. The rebound by the Celtics. Holiday's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Brown. Horford sets a screen for Brown. Crafty move. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Pirtle sets the pick for Trent. Shoots over Brown. Holiday with it. Now guarded by Schroeder. From 15 feet away, the shot by Holiday, no good. Raptors trail by 11. And an obvious screen on Holiday. Siakam kicks to Trent. Siakam against Holiday. Siakam, that's good. Siakam's got to back down to single digits for the Raptors. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. Now a timeout called by Boston. Here they are. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Achua, he's checked in for Jakob Pertl. As Boucher comes in for Pascal Siakam. Scotty Barnes, he's checked in for OG Ananobi. And Dick subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Now, here's Brown. Tight defense on him. Horford sets a screen for Brown. And the dunk by Brown. Say it to chess, young fella. Jalen Brown with the strong finish. Well, let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Boston. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. And the other thing you notice is how committed they've been to playing with the pass constantly moving that ball from one side to the other. That free throw good from Brown. Surely one of the top players in the NBA, but 
Jalen Brown has many other interests outside of basketball. Yeah, he likes to keep those brain muscles just as in shape as he is. He spends a lot of time playing piano, chess, doing yoga, and reading to keep himself sharp. 54 seconds left in the third. Pass to Hauser. Takes a three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Let's it go from 14. And Pritchard pulls it down. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Here's Horford. Passes it to Hauser. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the third. Here's the pass to Pritchard. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And again, him with the trickle. So they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Pass to Trent. And they get it. And that's two points on the way. Trent's got 11 points. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. And so it's the Boston Celtics in command with a 16-point lead as the puzzle out. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Back right after this. Assist of the game. Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this one? We talk a lot about playing for one another. Right there with the pass, he's demonstrated what it means to do exactly this. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four, they've got Jason Tatum. And it's Pritchard in at the point. That's the Boston Five. There's a good screen. And here's Tatum for three. Pass to Pritchard. Tatum draws the double. Lets it fly. Here's Hauser. A three-pointer no good. Raptors trail by 16. Inside, here's Trent, and it's good, yeah, two points. Trent, no Junior. issues on that one, good work all around. Two. And here's Tatum, he'll bring it up for Boston. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Pass to Cornette, from deep. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got six assists here tonight. And the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Boucher passes to Dick. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Jason Tatum. Yeah, you never want to foul a jump shooter. Dick certainly qualifies as Raptors. Dick. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Dick. And you look at Grady Dick's physical gifts, and you see it's all there. Size, length, careful training, and hard work could make him into something special. Good on the second, so he makes them both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Tate 
Tatum wide open. He fires one. And again, Boston with the triple. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. On the wing, Barnes. Achua kicks to Boucher. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost him. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. Now here's Tatum. Defense is right there. The pass to Pritchard. Back to Tatum. Lock at six. Pass to Hauser. Launches it from deep. And Barnes sends it in. And he's able to get it back. Toronto ball. Drew Holiday. He's checked in for the Celtics. And Toronto also making a switch. Bertles checked in. Barnes against Tatum. There's the screen. And the call will be against Al Horford. That'll be his second foul of the game. personal foul. Second team foul. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Screen by Pirtle. Shoots from 12. Shot clock at five. It's hauled in by Cornette. Austin leading by 18. Pritchard passes to Holiday. Pass to Cornette. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Jakob Pirtle. And for all the First small ball five. these days, RJ, the 7 2 Long. Luke Cornett is Cornette. still earning his keep. Yeah, he has a very unique thing he does against jump shooters that kind of bothers me because I don't think it works. He'll just jump with both hands up so they can't see the rim. He calls it the eclipse. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. And with the new CBA, Greg, free agent conversations can start basically the day the NBA Finals conclude. Do you like that move? I, I think it's good to have rules that teams will actually follow. In the past, it was July 1st, and let's be honest, teams were talking to players well before that. Trent outside. Off target from outside. Austin leading by 20. Here's Pritchard. Cans the shot from the wing. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Tatum against Barnes. Passes it to Dick. Can they get it? Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Barnes has got three assists in the game. Holiday dishes to Horford. And the pass to Tatum fires the three. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's pass to Barnes. Now Achua, guarded by Horford. And it's sent back by Horford. And still capable of being your defensive anchor. Horford is excellent at positioning himself to block shots. Boston's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Back to Tatum. The wide open look here for Holiday. Buries the long-range jumper. Intelligent play by Tatum. 
moving the ball to get an open shot. Barnes against Tatum. Hurdle with a screen on Howard. Dick passes to Burke. And the shot goes down. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Bounce pass from Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Not going to go that time. Good work defensively by Trent. What do you think of the league's most recent CBA, Greg, that seven-year deal just signed? Well, Kevin, the NBA and Players Association both need to be commended. Labor peace through the rest of the decade. Most pro sports don't have this kind of stability. And that one drops. And there's a pattern that's starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Pritchard for the three. Toronto grabs the miss. Achua's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Trent outside. Back to Barnes. To the inside. Achua and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, easy call. Greg is a guy that led the offense, a floor general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guards? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillard, Doncic, Morant. And, of course, CP3 is still going. And some changes here for the Celtics. Zinkis he's checked in for Luke Cornett. Jalen Brown comes in for Al Horford. And Derek White subbed in for Pritchard. And then for Toronto, Siakam is checked in for Perk. OG Ananobi comes in for Dick. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Trent. Brown against Barnes. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer. For a time, the richest in NBA history. And you got to pay to play in this game to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. And he can't get the first one. Jakob Pertles checked in for Toronto. He hits the second from the line. And here are the Raptors now. They trail by 18. Siakam against Tatum. Siakam passes to Purdy. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The moment Purdy gets the ball around the hoop, he is so tough to stop. Team ball. Shooting for Toronto. Yaka Pirtle at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Perzingis. The second free throw, good. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. 22 is their biggest lead. This will blow. Biscuit is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. <laughs> okay, just some big boy strength there for Tatum. Just put himself to the line. Austin making a switch here. Rosinkas is checked in. Jason Tatum at the line with one shot. And 
and that one misses. We talk about Tatum's offense, and for good reason, but his play on the defensive end is really valuable for this team. Siakam kicks to Pirtle. Here's Ananobi. And the three off target. Boston leading by 19 points. Holiday, the pass to Brown. Back to Holiday. The three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Assisted by Barnes has got Scotty five Barnes. assists in the game. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Barnes against Brown. And another miss by Boston. Uh, I'm going to say he hasn't found the same success here in the second half compared to what we saw from him in the first. Hurdle with a screen on Tatum. Siakam passes to Pirtle. Oh, it counts! And the foul! For Zingas, and so he's picked up his final foul. He will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, guys, this is where their depth Shooting really comes into Toronto. play. They, they've got such yeah, talent Earl. at that position. One shot. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop off. Austin leading by 14. Has to Tatum, and that one is good. 30 points for Jason Tatum. See, this is what Tatum is capable of. Look, look, he is a sensational scorer. Like, yeah, we understand that. When he gets into a rhythm. Woo. Siakam against Tatum. Siakam kicks to Barnes. Siakam inside. And he banks in the lane. Siakam. Siakam's got 14 points here in the second half. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. Horford sets a screen for Tatum, and the basket is good. Tatum's got nine points now in the quarter. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basket. Passes to Purdy. A rebound by the Celtics. Horford's got 11 rebounds in the game. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Toronto grabs the miss. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Siakam against Horford. Siakam outside. From 18 feet away, it's hauled in by Brown. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Holiday, the pass to Horford. Now Tatum, the three. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got four rebounds in this game. There's the dish to Schroeder. Brown against Siakam. Myrtle with a screen on Brown. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Siakam's got 26 points. Oh, the numbers speak for themselves. Siakam showing great versatility on the offensive end. Here's Toronto now. They're on a 16-7 run. Barnes kicks to Pirtle. Here's Schroeder. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Yeah, Jakob is on a roll offensively. The defense needs to double their efforts to slow down this big man. Might want to send a double. Left side, Orford. Brown finds Tatum. Over Siakam. Tatum shot is off. Hunter's trail by 11. To the paint. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. And he'll shoot two free throws. Second. I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability 
to play in attack mode. Siakam taking two shots. First one drops, and that brings them to within 10. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. 22 is their biggest lead. Beyond the arc. Ah, Tatum an assassin. Strong for three-point land. Tatum is about a 40% shooter from deep. That's impressive. Tatum against Siakam. Over Tatum. Siakam misses. Celtics leading by 12. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Celtics. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point ring. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out to be and created other opportunities. And anytime they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jason Tatum. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. And Siakam with the basket on the assist by Schroeder. And that's now 30 points for Siakam. And so the Celtics now can just hold on to the ball. And here's Holiday. So it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And this is what they came out to do. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And now our new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum.